the high priest would use these things in a way that we're going to come on to later. In fact, in a great big um, hot box, basically, a big smoke filled hot box. And the high priest would go off on his own into this hot box and then um, do this psychoactive thing, do this psychedelic thing. And they would come back and give advice to the tribe. <clears throat> and the advice was, uh, the advice was mainly around three or four things. One of those things is curing disease. One of those things is finding food, finding water. One of those things is protection for your enemies, war divination. When do we attack them? When are we gonna be attacked? Uh, also used to resolve conflicts. And you see all of these, you see examples of all of these things in the Bible. And this is rather curious because this is the traditional functions of a shaman in their tribe. When, whether, wherever you are, whether you're in the uh, Ind Ind Indonesian tribe or if you're in the jungle in Brazil or wherever it might be, the shaman generally goes off on his own or her own, goes and takes their ayahuasca and their mushrooms and they come back and they give you some advice. And it may be about curing a disease, uh, it may be about um, resolving a problem, maybe about finding game or finding, or finding something you need, uh, and also for war divination because the shaman's job is to protect his tribe and those are the things which threaten the tribe disease war <clears throat> and starvation the thing about anxiolytics so leaving all the spirits aside an anxiolytic is something which reduces anxiety and when we're anxious we tend to think in cycles or we, t uh, uh, we tend to think the same thing over and over again <clears throat> Um, you see this in rats, actually, when you inject a rat with an anxiolytic, something which reduces anxiety, and you put it in a maze with an open top, with a kind of area with an open top. Rats don't really like exploring areas with an open top because, you know, they, they, they're worried about having a bird sweep down and eat them, basically. So generally rats, they're trying to kind of stick behind things or around the side of things so birds can't get at them. At them. But if you inject them with an anxiolytic, or if you give them frankincense or something like that, then they, they start to explore a little bit more freely around the maze. They're not so worried about getting eaten. <clears throat> it's a little bit like that in our mind. We tend to behave in the same kind of ways uh, until we open up, and if we're anxious, which is why addiction is particularly connected to anxiety. And often when we're, when we're if we're anxious, we might think, oh yeah, I think I need that other cigarette. But if we get over the anxiety, it can be easier to break that cycle and start to think about things in a more open way. So for creative problem solving, and we can talk about divination as a kind of uh, rather elaborate form of creative problem solving, an anxiolytic is very interesting.